If you're still using After Effects default text animations in your projects, you're probably a noob. Well, not a noob, but definitely lazy. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 of my favorite text animations and how you can create them in After Effects. Before we start, you're probably wondering why that six foot tall American voice suddenly turned to a 10 year old bully kid. You might think, oh, bro finally built up the confidence to use his own voice, but no. My credits run out and I have no choice. All right, let's begin. First, create a new composition and the composition that I use is 1080 by 1080. So it's basically a simple square. Then simply select the text tool and type the text you want. In my case, I'm just gonna go with I'm Batman because I am. Now inside the properties panel, you can customize your text like giving it your favorite color or your favorite font, whatever you like. Now that everything is ready, let's create the first text animation. So the first one is this bouncy text animation, which looks really cool. So if you expand your text properties, you see an option called animate, which is where everything happens. Just click on it and select this fancy position option. So you basically just added an animator for position. And you have to change this number to a negative number, something like negative 100. Then extend this range selector and change the offset value all the way down to negative 100 and add a keyframe. Move one second forward in the timeline and change the value all the way up to positive 100. So far your animation looks like this, but we're going to fix it. Advance the extend tab and click on um wait change the shape method to ramp up and then it looks much better. Lastly change ease high and ease low to 50% and that's all for this animator. Next select the animator and press ctrl D to duplicate this animator and for the second animator change the position to positive 100. Now if you check it back you see that nothing happens but you need to extend the range selector, go to advanced and change the ease high to 0 and ease low to 100%. And then you're going to see your bouncy text animation is ready. But something is missing. You need to add another animator, but this time for opacity. Change the opacity all the way down to zero. Extend the range selector and add a keyframe for offset. Make sure the value is negative 100. Then move to the end of your animation and change the value all the way up to positive 100. Then under advanced tab, change the shape method to ramp up. Also, ease low should be positive 100 in this one. Now check it back and you have a cool bouncy text animation. The next animation is the cinematic text animation. If you ever get hired by Netflix, this is definitely going to help you a lot. To create this, first click on the animation button and select enable per character 3D. This will allow you to play around with each character in 3D. Then click on this animate button again and add a position animator. Inside this animator, click on add property and blur to add a blur animator as well. Then change the Z position of the animator to a negative number, something like negative 500 is a good value. Don't worry if your text running out of the screen. Then adjust the blur value to something like 50. If you see something like this, this means it's ready and it's time to animate it. Extend the range selector, change the offset value to negative 100 and add a keyframe. Move about one second forward in the timeline and change the value back to positive 100. Then extend the advanced tab and change the shape method to ramp up. Again, change the ease low value to positive 100 and make sure this randomized order is enabled. What I forgot to mention is that you also need an opacity animator and make sure the opacity is 0%. Then just check it back and enjoy what you created. The next one is this. It actually looks bouncy, but I don't know, maybe it is. To create this, first you need to create a new animator, but this time for anchor point. And change the Y value of anchor point to 200. Inside this animator, you also need to have a scale animator. By default, when you change the scale value, it affects both X and Y axes together. But if you click on this icon right here, you can adjust the scale separately for each axis. And then set the Y scale to 0. Extend the range selector and set the offset value to negative 100 and add a keyframe. Move one second forward in the timeline and change the offset to positive 100% to animate the effect. And then extend the advanced tab and change the shape method to ramp up and ease low to positive 100% and there you have your text animation. The next one is this flickering text animation which looks really cool if you're working on some text related projects. To create this you just need an animator for opacity and make sure the opacity is 0% then extend your range selector and this time add a keyframe for start. Then move about one second forward in the timeline again and change the start value to 100%. Inside the advanced tab you just need to change the smoothness to 0% and enable randomize order. Just as simple as that your text animation is ready. You can also hold alt on your keyboard and click on this random seed stopwatch to create an expression and type this expression to get a better result. 
The next one is this. I don't really know what to call it, so let's just jump right in. To create this, first make sure enable per character 3D is enabled and add a rotation animator, and then change the Y rotation to 19 degrees. Inside this animator, you also need to add an opacity animator, and again, opacity should be 0%. Then extend your end selector and repeat that offset keyframing process once again. So yeah, just like this. Then inside the advanced sub, change the shape method to ramp up, and ease low should be positive 100%. Now check it back and you see your text animation is ready. The next one is looks like this, which I think it's called reveal text animation. To create this, first add a position animator and inside this animator add tracking as well. Then decrease the tracking value until all the characters overlap together. Next increase the position value to move the text downward slightly. And you also need to add an opacity animator inside this animator and change the value to 0%. Under the range selector, add a keyframe for a start, then move a few frames forward in the timeline and change the start value to 100%. Then select these two keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them, then open the graph editor and make sure you are on the edit speed graph, not edit value graph, then create a curve like this. Now check it back and there you have it. The next one is also a bouncy animation but this time using a scale. To create this, first add an animator for a scale and change the scale value to 50%. Then extend the range selector and change the offset value to negative 100 and add a keyframe. Move one second forward in the timeline and change the value to positive 100. And again under the advanced tab, change the shape method to ramp up and ease low to positive 100%. Then add an opacity animator inside this animator and change the value to 0%. Now if you play it back, you see that it's already a beautiful text animation but we still need to add the bouncy effect to make it even better. To do this, first duplicate this animator and remove the opacity from the second animator and change the scale to 150. And finally, extend the range selector and under the advanced tab, change the ease high and ease low both to 50%. And now your text animation is ready. The next one is this modern looking text animation which you can use it anywhere. And again, you need to add a position animator for this one and also increase the position to something like 200 or 100. I don't know how really you And inside this animator, you also need to add opacity and blur. Change the blur value to 25 and opacity to 0%. Then extend the range selector and repeat the offset keyframing process once again. I've mentioned this so many times you probably know the drill by now. Then under the advanced tab, change the shape method to ramp down, oh, I mean ramp up, and then change the ease low to 99% and ease high to 50%. Now if you check it back, you'll see that it's already a beautiful text animation on its own, but if you want to make it even better, you can add a rotation animator and increase the rotation value for a more dynamic effect. And now your text animation is ready. Now this one is called LeBron James. So start by adding an animator for scale and make sure to click on this icon to separate the axes and change the Y scale to 0. Then on the range selector, change the offset to negative 100 and add a keyframe, move one second forward in the timeline and change the value to positive 100 and shape method should be ramp up and ease low should be positive 100. Then duplicate this animator and inside the second animator change the scale value to 125% and ease high and ease low to 50%. Then bring the keyframes 10 frames forward and this one is also ready to go. And the last one is this trending text animation which is getting so viral nowadays. To create this, first add an animator for position and increase the position value to something like 200. And you also need to have blur and opacity. Then change the blur value to 50 and opacity to 0%. Then extend the range selector and repeat that offset keyframing process once again. You know the trail by now. And finally, under the advanced tab, change the shape method to ramp up and set it to based on words. Now if you check it back, your text animation is ready. It actually looks much better when you have more than two words, but yeah, there you go. And that's all for this video. Just so you know, I'll put a link in the description to my 60 text animation presets, which you can download for free. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you learned something new. Fellas, never forget to subscribe to Adobe Simplified. See you in the next one. Bye.